Easy peeps, welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. Before we crack on with today's DKT, let's do a couple of these guaranteed players, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. First off, League One. For this, you need only an 81 rated squad with two League One players. These are who we used and they are all untradeable. Not bad at all. Oh, one tradable. One tradable card. Two tradable cards. I'm lying to you. So two tradables, but not much money really. And we shall confirm that. And then we'll go and open it before we do the Calcio A1. In case we don't get a very good one, then we can rinse this one through to do the Calcio A. But honestly, an 81 rated team, not bad at all. GG to EA, making it accessible for everyone. Right then, can we get a big player? League One Tots, here we go. Come on, come on EA, give us something good. Come on. Oh, we get mbop. Mm, yeah, we do. We get mbop. Woo! 93 rated Mbop. Not bad. Card looks decent, man. Look, card does look decent. I think I've played with Mbop once in draft. He always felt a little bit clunky, but we'll see if this card can can be less clunky, shall we? Shall we? Yeah. I mean, looking at the stats, stick an engine on him. And we are good to go. You know Engine is our chemistry style of choice at the moment. But there's just something about Lozano. Lozano, for me, is just completely overpowered and OP. But we will be starting Umbop in this DKT. So hopefully, you know, hopefully that clunkiness has gone. Anyway, onto the Calcio A top player. And this one you need an 82 rated. Again, very accessible. We're going to get rid of Rodrigo for this one. Just so we can get rid of some of these... Um, lower endy cards and stuff like that we played 32 games with rodrigo and he got a 36 goal contribution not bad but he's not really an end game player so we might as well get rid of him and now we've got mbop a who cares man rodrigo is gone and that's the calcio a tots completed so we'll go and open this as well before we do the dkt just in case we get another decent player so, come on EA, we've had a good one. It wasn't a goalkeeper, so as long as we don't get a goalkeeper, life is looking good. Come on, come on EA, come on beauties, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, at least it's not a goalkeeper, hey? At least it's not a goalkeeper. 92 rated should be good to rinse him through a game because don't, the defence and physical look great on that card, but I don't think the pace will hold up. And we've got two decent centre-backs as it is. Also, a little bit more of business because of the weekly objectives. We had to play squad battles, of course. So, we managed to just get gold three in those few games and we get a brand new Huoso kit. That looks pretty decent. I do like the look of that. But more importantly, we get another 12,000 coins. So that'll help for the World Cup mode, which is coming tomorrow. Woo! But that kit looked absolutely beautiful. I'm not too sure what colour the shorts were, you know, are going to be. I'm guessing either blue or white. If it's white, it probably won't look so good. But it's just a bit of a bit of a too similar one for our Union Jack kit. But I'll definitely try that in the future because that looks absolutely decent. Oh, so another 12,000 coins for World Cup mode. We're up to 602,000 now. Hopefully we can get some lucky pulls on the World Cup mode to get us going. That is only one day away. But the first Jumbo Premium Gold Pack from this squad battles rewards. We get boards, not bad at all. So now if we can just get a high rated player, that'll be absolutely superb. We get an 83. Okay, that's not bad at all. We just need now an SBC where 83s and 84s are actually viable. Because we've got a shed load of 83s and 84s in the club. Um... But obviously the market's going down. We go, we get a shadow. Not bad. That's 5k. Um, obviously the market's going down and down and down and down and down. So we just need something where it just makes the cards mean something again. Whether that's going to be the case with World Cup mode, who knows. But I will be doing both. So, oh, we don't get any boards on that one, unfortunately. You, you know what I mean? And the reason I'll be doing both is because we have worked extremely hard. Not one bit of FIFA point has entered this account at all and we have worked extremely hard so we're going to go into this DKT to earn the card and the card doesn't look too good 
but again it's another 90 rated tots that we can rinse through so i'm just going to collect as many tots as i can and of course we do get 1500 coins but look at this team man this is a road to glory 92 rated look at that starting 11 yes it can still be improved i really want to get neymar for son that that seems like a, a real good change um we're going to start Umbop, but honestly, I think Lozano is going to be better. I know, don't don't lynch me. I just think that Lozano is OP on this game, and I do think he will be better. But look at that team, man. That's a road to glory. And, you know, you've got to give credit for that. Not, not you know, just no money spent. Anyway, let's crack on with this DKT, shall we? Seven minutes in, Hernandez, 1-0. Okay, finish, not bad at all. He, is he an improvement? Is he an improvement? Over the course of the weekend, if you follow my Twitter, you will see we actually hit 2,000 games with Hernandez. And he was on something like a 2,600 and something, something. I think it was 89 goal contribution from 2,000 games. And that man has played everywhere bar goalkeeper. He literally has been a renaissance man for us. But is it time for him to go? I, I'm not too sure. I, I don't know, man. 2,000 games with a player, you literally know left right in out up down exactly how he's going to play uh, and that's what i like that that's what i like that's why sometimes you bring in a new player like umbot for instance and it just jiggles the team around and i've got to a i've got to a place now with lozano and somewhere i know exactly how they're going to play i know the runs i know where they're not good i know where they're superb and then umbop's just changed that slightly because you're getting used to a brand new player so that makes me think why i might just go back to lozano uh, i'm not too sure and then just we'll have umbop as a super sub or something I, I don't know anyway we go one nil down really early on and then we go two nil down really early on. just couldn't get a grasp of the game player switching wasn't there unfortunately but then luckily we managed to get another goal back like i said i understand what runs different players are going to make but we're learning Mbop, and, he, and he's okay, man. He is a little bit clunky. He is a little bit clunky, and that's surprising with his stats that he has. But compared to Lozano, Lozano glides through like butter, and Mbop is just slightly, slightly clunky. He gets himself a brace there, um, but he just, I don't know, I think it's his initial touch. It might be his animation. I, I'm not too sure what it is, but compared to how um lozano feels it just it's not the same but anyway umbop gets himself an assist there as well onto lozano who we've brought on as a sub uh and then umbop again to lozano so that's in this game umbop's got two goals and two assists and lozano has got himself two goals as well that's not bad at all and then we finish it off with a great tackle from maldini just locking it down in defense a nice ball up to hully and then because he ends up tackling hully He's obviously going to get the players sent off and he rage quits out of here. Next up, we have Bad Fungi or Bad Fungi. Is he a fungi? Who knows? But a decent team. He has Son and Sterling. Sterling is another card that I wouldn't mind because I love the path to glory Sterling. Absolutely love it. So I'd love to try out his team of the season. But unfortunately, we go 1 0 down again. Honestly, it just. The gameplay just wasn't the best. It just wasn't the best again, unfortunately. But Hullet, or Gullet, I don't know. I've been saying Hullet for years, and then I've seen something on Twitter where actually Hullet himself was speaking, and he went, Hi, rude Gullet here. So if the man says Gullet, it's Gullet, isn't it? I thought it was Hullet, but hey, who knows? 2-1 up, Lozano, again, not bad at all. De Bruyne now with a little bit of magic, drag back turn around the goalie and um, the goalie the defender and we go three one up i absolutely love this de bruyne card absolutely love it it is literally one of my top three cards i have used this year on fifa obviously 96 ronaldo is one of them and i think then i think the lozano our oh, top four lozano son oh i don't know but we do we, we go three three we just couldn't get a grasp after a kickoff goal it just set my head spiraling slightly. But then we managed to get back in the game thanks to Mbop on the 74th minute. We win, uh, we score 4-3 going up. And that's not bad at all. But then we keep on pushing because we just want to solidify the victory. And this is what I like about Lozano. He's got hustle, bustle, strong. It is be beautiful card, man. Absolutely beautiful card. And we go 5-3 up in that one. Another tackle another player possibly getting sent off 
and because of that we get another rage quit as the player lost his mind and that was it to win the whole thing so we do get the team of the season card but honestly I think what we're going to do is we're going to start Lozano because I love the card so much and then Mbop will end up coming on as a sub, possibly going straight in the middle and swapping off for Hernandez when he's got a little bit of lost pace and stuff like that. But that can wait because we've got the team of the season card, we've got 1500 coins and this is what it looks like in game. This will not be used, 4 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves, yeah. 85 pace 92 shooting looks absolutely superb if you look at the shooting there and he has got great composure at 90 passing column looks decent stamina at 82 is a letdown strength is superb at 92 but i just think at this stage of the game now with sprint speed of 81 even if you stick a chem style on him it just isn't enough for him to be your main striker so this card will definitely get rinsed through another tot but that is it we've won it World Cup mode is a day away. Are you excited? You know that we will be doing some beautiful World Cup content on this channel. Of course, we're gonna we're gonna continue with the Road to Glory theme. So we're gonna use this account on the World Cup. It's a Road to Glory, man. You know, it, it, we're so far into it now. It, I don't think brand new people are gonna be starting the World Cup mode from scratch. So we've worked hard to attain the coins. We haven't stuck one FIFA point on the account. So we're gonna carry on and do the World Cup mode via that so that we also get the packs on this account as well. Cause obviously if you open packs, you get another pack on your foot account. So it just seems silly to just then have a foot account sitting there that we can open packs on and it doesn't really mean anything. So we will be taking this foot account into the world cup mode and we will definitely be continue using this account because look at what we've done anyway that is it for today's thank you for watch for today's thank you <laughs> that is it for today's video thanks for watching if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button of course you know by now people if you're already subscribed why don't you turn your notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live also give my twitch a follow we will be doing some world cup stuff on the twitch the twitch yeah the twitch <laughs> and of course if you could hit a thumbs up that would be greatly greatly appreciated but for now, from the Beast team and the new team of the season, DKT player, thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.